In this video, I am going to let you know few resources that you can use. To So hello everyone welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video we are going to talk about how you can learn Salesforce flow in 2024. Like probably you know that why Salesforce flows are so important to learn but if any beginner is watching this video I just want to let them know why Salesforce flows are so much important in 2024 let's say in 2023 as well. The reason is very simple earlier we have two more automation tool called workflow rules and process builder so salesforce basically depreciated them like now you are not longer to create new workflow rules or process builder and also salesforce is no longer going to provide support on both of these tools so the companies that are using salesforce using workflow rules and process builder to automate things in their orgs right but now they need to migrate those salesforce workflows and process builder into salesforce flows so obviously they are going to need a person who know more about flows right who can migrate those uh, workflow rules and process builder into flows and who can create their business process by using flow skill set so that's why most of the recruiter out there are looking for a person who is also skilled in salesforce flow so if you learn salesforce flow it is going to shine your resume that okay this person also know the low code tool automation in salesforce that is flow so that's the one thing that why the why these are so important the second reason of learning flows is that's the only automation in salesforce flow that you can use without writing any code right and if you also want to use code you can basically use apex and flow if you also want to include lwc component in your salesforce flow you can also do that so flows are like super powerful when you combine the power of apex and lwc along with your salesforce flow so that's why we call them low code tool right so in this video i am going to let you know few resources that you can use to learn salesforce flow right the number one platform that i am going to tell you is trailed so I know there are a lot of professional who criticize Trailhead like okay it is not good enough uh, you don't need to go through Trailhead just learn from the videos and all but to be very honest whenever I learn something new the my first point is Trailhead I complete few modules so that I will get a basic overview like okay this is the things that I need to learn and when you learn from trailhead make sure you are following a particular trail mix so below in the description of this video i am going to share two trail mix with you one trail mix contain the flow badges like okay these are the only badges that you need to complete and then we have a, a trail mix for super badges like once you once you are confident like okay i know salesforce flows very well or then you can uh, complete those super badges as well right so both the links are given below into the description of this video and make sure you complete most of them because those are very simple and easy to follow that's one thing the other thing is youtube videos so if you simply type us uh, on youtube salesforce flows right there are a lot of channel who are creating content and i will suggest let's just go through some of the videos whatever the video you feel helpful or the author that is creating or the content creator who is creating content on youtube you feel good just follow that particular playlist only for example i am creating content on salesforce flows from past 3.5 years and i have two playlist available on youtube first is flow builder tutorial and the other is salesforce flow for beginner so if you are a beginner you can just go through that particular uh, playlist and complete all those videos now that's one thing but i am not suggesting like okay you only follow my playlist it's up to you whatever the teacher or whatever the author you feel best just learn from them and now that's the second one now in the third one we also have a paid course in this paid course we are teaching salesforce flow literally from scratch like we are explaining all the elements all the basic basic things of salesforce flow content that we are delivering is more than 40 hours uh, now you have a question like okay shubham when we have so much free resources why should i get that particular course now it's totally up to you whether you want to enroll into the course or not i am just delivering you what are the things that i am providing into that course the course basically contain more than 90 plus tutorials 40 plus hours of content and the usp that we have is we we are also providing doubt classes so monthly we have two to three doubt classes right where you can uh, take part in it's basically a zoom class where all the listener or all the learners can come and ask their question directly to me i will be available on those doubt classes right and clear their doubts let me move to my computer screen to show you more about our salesforce flow course so that you will get to know more about it so here I am on the URL this URL you can simply get it from the description of this video right and once you click on the link so see 
here we have 13 modules right 81 session right now and here you can see 25 hour and 51 minute content is already over there now you know like i promised for 40 hours of content that is because our course is not like uh, any other platform courses where we the person only provided course and do not update the course regularly now why our course is unique because we are continuously up upgrading our course as you know salesforce flows keep on upgrading by every single release salesforce add some new features right so that's why i decided to providing the content regularly like we are keep on updating the content of this course so 40 hours will be just uh, one month away after january you can see there will be content more than 40 hours available into our platform so here you can see simply a introduction video like course introduction then we have prerequisite where you need to create a developer role and after that our course is started here is basically the difference code and flow right and then we have flow builder tour after that we have flow resources then we have elements in elements we discussed about each and every element that we have in salesforce flow the new elements that are introduced will be covered also all those once we have the official documentation from salesforce we are going to create videos on those elements as well then we have screen flow and auto launch flow scenarios here you can see we have clone a contact record to create a lead so these are like business scenarios and why we are basically selling this course because the content that we are going to provide you will not see on youtube on our youtube channel you will not see these videos these are ex exclusive for our salesforce flow course now after this we have record triggered flows explanation then we have record triggered flow scenarios and here you can see how much scenarios we covered then we have scheduled triggered flows right and then we have scheduled triggered flow scenarios and we are also going to add more scenarios as we going to cover more tutorials more scenarios more features into our salesforce flow course then we have important concept of tri uh, triggered flows then migration to flow this is the topic that i am going to cover after fab because after fab we have a lot of scenarios which i am working on right now right so i am going to add into this particular section and this is the doubt class so here you can see we regularly conduct doubt classes and the next doubt class will be on 6th january 2024 and after that we will take alternate saturdays so in a month we have around two to three doubt classes so those who have any kind of doubt can also take part into these doubt classes here you can see these are the earlier doubt classes that we have right so we are also going to discuss any kind of doubt that you have in salesforce flow into our doubt classes and that's the best part of the salesforce flow course now this is not the only thing uh, in our salesforce flow course right for example if i log in from any uh, from the test credentials right so i simply click on login and i am going to show you how you can basically enroll into the once you enrolled into the course how you will see the display so simply you need to click on dashboard and you will see all the active courses available into your dashboard right so here is the course you can simply click on it and here you can see the video tutorials that are available for example record triggered flow so that's how you can see salesforce flow so record know, triggered I flow right other things that we are delivering if I move back to the courses, we have a community as well. So now the best part is you can even ask your question in our Salesforce community that we have. So for a specific course, we have specific communities, right? So here you can see like Sakshi asked her question into the community that we have. Similarly, in announcement, you can see if there is any announcement related to our course, I will announce over there. And if we need to discuss anything, we can discuss it like this so you can see the other uh, learners can ask their doubts to me over there right so this is also one of the best thing that are available on our platform so if you are interested to learn from me make sure you enroll into the course thank you so much